this is an actual PSLE question, we're going to use the assumption method to solve this question. Meng sold a total of 368 large and small durians at the prices shown below. So you can see here, a large durian is $9 and a small durian is $5. And he collected $2,760. How many large durians did Meng sell? So we know this is an assumption question because of a few things. First, there are two types of items. There are large durians and there are small durians. And each of the items have a different value attached. So we can see here that one type of durian, the large durians, is $9. The other type of durian, the small durians, is $5. We also have the total number of items, that is 368 and we have the total value that is $2,760. So if we see all of these things, we know this is an assumption question. So what is the assumption method? First, read the question. We want to know how many large durians were sold. We assume the opposite of the question. We assume no large durians were sold, only the small durians were sold. And we know there are 368 durians sold in total. So how much is collected from the sale of durians if only small durians were sold? That would be 368 times by the price of small durians. This is equal to $1,840. So this is the total value, assuming the opposite of the question. Now, what is the actual total value? It is $2,760. So the second step is to find the difference between the actual total value and the assumed total value. So the difference in the total values is $920. So next, we need to find the difference between the values of the two different types of items. That would be $9 for the large durian minus $5 for the small durian. And that gives us a difference of $4. The last step in the assumption question is to find the difference between the actual total value and the assumed total value divided by the difference between the value of the two types of items. So that would be $920 divided by $4. And this gives us 230. So this would be the actual number of large durians that Meng sold.